Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GV Live. We've got the Halo 5 Guardians $1,000 tournament for V4 going on today. Benson joined by the wonderful Christopher Puckett to my left. Um, we've got Master Chief Helmet here as well. That's right, guys. We, we read the stream chat. This is the new Puckett. Sup, new Puckett. Uh, I tried to just, just I tried to do a Chris impression. No, I, I miss you, Chris. We miss we miss Chris Dilly. Um, to answer some of the questions that we saw in the chat, uh, Chris no longer works at Major League Gaming. Um, we uh, we miss him daily, of course, but he's moved on. He works at Activision Blizzard now, um, where he's going to do wonderful, wonderful things in the world of esports. So congratulations, of course, to Chris. Um, but sadly, yes, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to deal with with us for a little bit. Sucks, I know. Apologies. I mean, I have to deal with you. You have had to deal with me for a very long time, and guess what? You're gonna have to continue to deal with us. But this, you know, the first Halo broadcast. Let us know, you know, how things are going in terms of the production. Whether you like it, what you were trying to do differently. Um, just trying to iron out some kinks. Of course, we have the qualifiers coming up uh, very soon next weekend. Actually, we have the first qualifier before I fly home, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah, super stoked to do that one. Um, I believe Golden Boy is gonna be joining us on the show for that one. So Golden Boy, that's Girl, super exciting. Lots of teams signed up. I believe it's like 700 teams. It's, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I believe it's still going up. Um, that's that's going to be the first Halo World Championship qualifier tournament. You're going to have to play in all six um, to have a chance to qualify in North America going to um, the NA Regional Finals, which is going to be in the MLG TV Arena, um, Ooh. which will be really exciting. First ever Halo World Championship, $2 million prize pool, and consistently growing thanks to community funding from Rec Pack. You purposes. go, guys. You keep funding things. I'm a huge... Uh, cause of the prize pool going up, I like to think so, just because yeah. I buy a lot of rec packs. All right, well, we can uh, jump into some more action. Sorry about that short delay. I was just making sure everything was underway. Following Evil Geniuses, once again, they're one of the only teams currently in a game. Um, go straight into my screen, I believe someone is actually maybe about to cap a flag here. Get a little oh cheeky. My. Go on, Roy. Let's see what you got, my friend. He's pulling the flag, and away he goes. He's being uh, actually followed right now. Looks up to his right-hand side. No problem for Roy. Picks up the kill. And uh, Evil Geniuses. Just like that, go one oh up. Benson, who are they playing, I hear you say? Who are they playing, Benson? It's, it's that, that team again. HJK, LMNOP, something, something, something. Who knows team what? Team Captain Anarchy. Uh, team Captain Anarchy, yeah. It's going to be Senpai, Captain Anarchy, uh, Frosty the Truth, and NYC on the squad. Uh, is that Roy? Actually, actually has Hover yes. on. I was yep. about to ask you, well, what are your thoughts on that? Seen a couple of players opt to use it, a couple of players opt not to use it. Seems beneficial at times. You know, certain jumps oh. it helps with. There's... Nice shot there with the light rifle. Um, it's but nice. yeah, in terms of uh, auto stabilizing, for me personally, um, I think there are you know positives and negatives to using it. I don't use it just because I like to have the free range movement of jumping, I mean, like, to drop. Like jump shotting and dropping. Yep. Um, it's also a little jarring. When you're stabilizing and you're in a gunfight, mm -hmm. especially say I'm like an Apple Coliseum, right? Yep. And you yep. get shot, yep. then you fall down to the ground right away. Um, I think it it makes getting descoped um, mm -hmm. even worse. Yep. But the yep. positives to it, you do have you can manipulate your angles and your shots and gunfights, and you can do really really neat jumps with it, like especially on. Um, <laughs> Well, Roy, and we'll do top five fails. Yeah. Second one of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Second um, one of the day. But you can do some unique jumps by stabilizing and, and uh, combining it with ground pounding and um, your thrust attack. Like um, a map like. Quick. Oh, and the game is over. I, I anyway, just, I just wanted to talk about. We were just talking about jumping, stabilizing, but and EG was like, "Yo, Max, game. I hear what you're saying. It's really interesting, but, but we over. done. We out. We out here. They 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 just wanted to win the game. I'm sorry, Max. I don't know what to tell you." I mean, we have we have a scheduled time for this entire tournament, and they just want to end it. They do. Um, let's go to a. Should we do it? Should we do it? Let's go to a GB Live replay. I mean, we could just replay the entire map. That'd be like the normal <laughs> sense. Yeah, <laughs> really would. Uh, we can see exactly how lethal capped that flag in on GB Live replay. GB Live, it's the replay. We just need like a snazzy little jingle. Uh, That's exactly how lethal capped this flag. You see, it was very, very quick. No nonsense flag cap coming in from Tej. Grabbed it really and, and ran with the flag, and there was really nothing to squat. <laughs> Send my place. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Anyhow, that oh, was a GB live replay. That that. And that cool. was uh, map number one yep. of Evil Geniuses. They uh, definitely a dominant squad, I think it's fair to say. Oh, by far. I Best mean, team in the game. We kind of talked about it earlier on, and there's a couple um, more people in the stream now. I mean, there are some predictions so far and some power rankings of teams going into the Halo World Championship. 
Do you uh, agree with those? I, I know which ones you mean. I've seen them on the subreddit. Yeah, so Tiberius on... Oddly did mm -hmm. a good video on him. He did a great video, actually. Um, Shout out to him. Talking about just uh, performance in scrims, how teams are looking uh, individually in arena and stuff like that. Uh, EG, I think, are my favorite just because they were extremely dominant in uh, Halo 2 Anniversary. Nearly flawless the entire season yep. um, after they picked up Lethal. Um, or, I mean, well, I mean, after they picked up Lethal, they were extremely good. Um, mm -hmm. But... Uh, after you know they lost tournament with Ola, um, Pasola that is, um, and then picking up uh, Lethal was just so game changing for this team. Um, but then there's Liquid. Liquid looked really good as Liquid well. Liquid looked really good, which is going to be unlegit. Uh, Ace, Ninja, and Chig. That team, I believe, was Tiberius Oddly's number one uh, going into the for the preseason power rankings. Mm -hmm. And then there's Legions. Legions looked pretty good as well. Um, there's Triggers Down, which like fear itself and Hysteria. They're still looking for uh, a fourth member for Humanibus. that team. Envy as well. Humanibus Pistola. Really good Pistola. Hines, um, Mikwin, and APG. Mikwin left Liquid for this team. So I think top three come Halo World Championships, things could definitely change. But if they were tomorrow. As of right now. Yeah. If they were tomorrow, EG, Liquid, Envy, 2 3. Any particular order? EG, 100%, 100%? Uh, first? EG, 100% first. Okay. Um, and then Opticate. No, I'm joking. They came in you know, the first round. No, I'm, jo <laughs> I'm joking. Brutal. We uh, just keep memeing all over. We, we should. We should. Um, uh, but we, we should update everyone real yes. quick on the game that we were spectating, and they had some issues on the like. Who knows what happened? It was the Winter Fox game versus Shady Business. That was at the bottom side of the bracket. Um, Winter Fox actually got the the buy on that one, so they have progressed through now. Uh, they're in that quarterfinal game. Uh, you should see if uh, Shooter point. No, Shooter's not even playing Shooter's that one. So they're currently getting that game set up, but. Um, back to the top of the bracket, or we can scroll or scroll up from the bottom side. Oh yeah, why not? Evil Geniuses, uh, that's currently the game we're watching, EG 1-0 up in that one. I'm um, going to jump into the Team Slayer as soon as that one becomes available, but as we scroll down in the bracket, who else has found their way into the quarterfinals? So it's Noble. Noble. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to say no one, and you said Noble, and I said Noble. 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 Um, I assume Noble will progress through in, in, in that game. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. Yep. Um, and then right below that is going to be Truly Ambitious, I believe that's that team name. And then Allegiance, which is Nated, um, L-Town, uh, Kratos, and Suspector. I think that team. Noble Allegiance quarterfinal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then on this half of the bracket, we have Carbon, which is not the Carbon. The Carbon. Honey Nut. Sadly. Pelios, I think that was that team name when I checked it out before. I don't know who's on Honey Nut Pelios. Shout out to everyone making team names today. Oh, we'll check it out. Uh, that's going to be... Oh, Boo Boo Doo Boo! Boo Boo Doo Boo! Oh, yes! and Cloud. Okay, If so I'd known he was playing, I would have been watching him all day. And Com Okay, so this is a team to watch also. Um, what was that? Honey... Honey... What was the name? Honey Nut Pelios. Honey Nut equals Boo Boo Doo Boo. Yeah. Cloud, obviously, um, was let go from Canalogic Gaming uh, a Rip. couple weeks ago uh, in favor of Frosty. So playing Yo, with some Boo good Boo Boo teams actually uh, making it through to the quarterfinals today. Yes. Um... Boo Boo Dubu, just because of his name. We were yeah, like, who is Boo Boo Dubu? Kimo, Kimo was like, he gave us like the, the 411. Yeah, he was like, yeah, let me tell you, let me tell you about my dude, Boo Boo Dubu. Oh, yeah. Boo Boo Dubu. I almost says Bubba Dubba. I read that and I'm like, why is it not Bubba Dubba? It should be Bubba Dubba. But it's Boo Boo Dubu. Or Hubba Bubba. Chewing gum. Hubba Bubba, that chewing gum is fresh. Anyway, uh, Evil Geniuses, they're advancing into uh, the game number two. Slay of Truth is going to be the game type. We can jump straight on board with Fantastic. that one. Some truth action. Some truth. Love it, love a little bit of that. And who are we going to be on board with first? It looks like it's going to be Snapdown. Let's get some uh, some Oracle Vision. There it is. Um, Snapdown straight off the bat picks up one. That's going to be Captain Anarchy. Captain Anarchy. Definitely. And bear in mind, EG in, in Slayer today, Max, have started off pretty slow before mounting comebacks. Seems this time, no, a little bit different. They start off pretty strong. Yeah, and they choose to not really be aggressive there uh, on bottom pink. Uh, and Captain Anarchy was able to burn that camo. They just traded instead of trying to push and make plays for it. They just sat back. Captain Anarchy got aggressive on Camo, and he was able to uh, clean up the kill easily. So Camo's going to come up, I believe, at around 53. Um, 953, that's going to be. But Team HJK, LOL, Hodo, Hala, um, <coughs> going to be down three. Now four uh, after Lunchbox cleans up a kill on Captain Anarchy. And the kills are starting to rain in here for EG. As Snipe Down's playing with the person up here in top mid, tr gets a nice kill there onto NYC. I like that game attack. NYC. Little, little wordplay there. Um, you don't like that? It's okay. I think it's very, very clever. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Comes in from Roy. As he's trying to find the second. He knows he's up there. 
Managed it to connect with that grenade now, trying to be sneaky beaky like. Only jump up, doesn't even need to. Snipe down, <laughs> able to uh, pick up the kill. 11 to 4, the lead in favor of Evil Geniuses. Of course, they are 1 0 up in the series. Looking to progress through to today's semi finals. Yep, and on truth, the Power Up and the Plasma Caster response uh, mid 3 and. Plasma caster, like we've talked about it, you know, it can be used in certain situations to zone people out or maybe just try to just get a random kill. But I don't think players are going to really contest over it too much. Um, really, the main points of contest are going to be the camo which spawns bottom pink, which Roy is on top of right now, and pink two, and then the sword which spawns car uh, car one, which is on the other half of the map. Yep. And Wh which one would you prioritize? Camo first. Camo first. Yeah. I think camo, um, just because. Then, like, you don't want to get sword and then go for camo. It's easier, I think, to get camo and then go for sword. Um, and Roy gets a nice trade on to NYC. Hits with a the reversal, carbine. too. Um, very important kill. But I mean, right now it's going to be a 21 to 8 lead for EG. Um, and camo should have been up. Scroll through some players, see if they were able to actually get control of that. I don't think just yet. Oh, oh nope, there, there you go. There's a box with it. Oh, you're, you're a good guy, Max. I mean, if I was playing. <laughs> That's what I would have done. I would have gone for the camo. <laughs> uh, box. Not able to pick up that kill. Throws a grenade. He will be rushed. 23 to 11. The lead in favor of EG. Pops down. Captain Anarchy. I did, did he? Oh, he did see him. He did see him. Oh, swords up as well. Lunchbox. Is he going to try and... Oh, well, that's just mean. Really, oh, isn't it? nice spark. Charge that with the camo. Camo's going to have just about a quarter of time left on it. Pick up the sword, and then Here there's the go. deadly combo. Has the submachine gun, too, which is also very good at close range. Inhale of five guardians. Choosing to just really play bait. Play his life. Yeah, he just yep. baited himself out a little bit. Teammates uh, came out and gave him some support. Now he went straight for that sword. Let's see if Frosty the Truth can pick up this kill. He can. That was lethal. 13 to 29. They're desperately trying to reduce the deficit, but... Evil Genius is in uh, such a position of control right now, Max. Yeah, and Roy's trying to make what a nade. this uh, oh, that's storm cool. rifle. And Lethal there. I keep wanting to say APG, but he just wants to troll and make his game attack better than APG. But anyway. He's just trying to make his point, really. Yeah, top banter. Top banter, really. Uh, speaking of Lethal, currently leads the lobby 11 and 6. Man on your screen right now in second place. Currently at 8 and 5. 5 assists as well from Snipe Down. And fails that jump, but 31 to 15, double the opposition's kills. This is looking a very, very simple day in the office for Evil Geniuses right now. I see Energy Sword just currently flying around the bottom of the base. Yep. Let's jump up top. Is Snap down going to go for it? Yes, he is. Immediately goes back to the pistol. Not going to be able to pick up the kill. Captain Anarchy with the headshot, but it doesn't matter. Teammate in a position to trade. As we go over now to Lethal's perspective. Playing top mid, just being very patient right now, Max. Yep, and all of uh, Team HJ, whatever you want to call them, are going to be in that blue base. Uh, NYC there, get a nice kill from Blue Window. Onto a um, member from Evil Geniuses, and now they're fighting bottom pink. Great kill there onto Snipe Down, trade that kill off of Frosty. And they're just trying to get some control of the map here, but they're down 17 kills. It's starting to look like another Evil Genius is stomping, another 2-0. Roy gets a nice back right there onto Beaver Senpai. Frosty, though, trying to keep his team in it with a nice air kill onto Roy, but... This one just it's getting out got of out of hand pretty quickly. It, it really did. From the very beginning of the game, uh, as soon as Snipe Down locked down, I believe it was uh, the, the camo side, it, it just became completely controllable by Evil Geniuses. They built themselves a big lead, and that lead has really stayed with them through the majority of this uh, Team Slayer. 40 to 24, again, almost double the amount of kills we see uh, Captain Anarchy squad pick up and unfortunately <laughs> Roy's in a bit of a tough situation now players all around him you can see one crouched above him thanks to the Oracle mode jumps up SMG challenges and picks up one can he find the second turns around uh, unfortunately he dropped but there's the assist lethal comes in helps out 42 to 25 this one uh, pretty simple for evil geniuses Max. yeah just be a little bit of a sneaky beaver there fuck it um really yep had to okay. uh with that SMG in bottom blue SMG is very good at close range in this game. Um, acts as kind of a bit of a counter mm -hmm. to uh, the overshield as fast as it just spits out bolts really quickly. Um, if you don't have a storm rifle in hand to really melt that shield. Um, but just can't really say much more than it's just an evil genius's stomp here. Yeah, they've just pretty brutal to be honest. Looking at the scoreboard, 14 kills for lethal, 12 for Roy, 11 for snipe down, 10 for lunchbox. 
I've done. Let's have those 11 deaths, but besides that, everyone else single digits. Uh, we're on the other squad, really nothing crazy going on as expected when you only have 29 kills overall in a team slayer. EG just two kills away, and I believe Roy knows there is someone above him. He's going to try and challenge Frosty. Picked up two, though. I believe that player was killed off of Pink 3. Yeah, next um, time down, just picked him off with that Magnum. Yep. And that should be the game. The Snipe down can connect with that kill. He's going to be challenged to the left hand side. Snipe down for the victory. Gets it. Beautiful shot there to clean up the final kill. I believe Roy had a double dub there, dropping. Uh, double digit kills and assists. Take a look. Yep, one, 12 and 12. 12 and 12. Good team play there from five EG. Five deaths as well. Yes, five deaths. Uh, secure that tool of victory over team Captain Anarchy. Team HJK. Just slam your hand on the keyboard. Make a team name. Face roll. Um, they're going to advance into our, was that semifinal? Semifinal quarter? now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Evil Genius is really starting to cruise through today. Um, and I, I literally just looked at the bracket and it refreshed like that. I want to actually just just well give give a moment to appreciate the Halo Five community and that the, everyone that signed up to this tournament because I, I did a lot of Sundays and a lot of Saturdays last oh, year. Oh yes, rant away. A lot of a lot of these brackets, a lot of these GB lives, uh, a lot of two Ks, five Ks, and they were never ever on time, ever, ever. This is the first online tournament I have ever done where people are updating the bracket like that. Massive shout out to everyone that is playing in the tournament today. Even when you lost, you still updated the bracket. That is, that is look, look, look. Even after Kale, who didn't, either they that, lost or they that, didn't show up. That is literally insane that they are right there. Shout out to all the staff as well. Look, they already progressed through. That is insane. The game has literally just ended. So shout out to uh, all the wonderful staff at Game Battles and, of course, all the wonderful players playing in today's tournament, making it possible. Of course, uh, play today playing for $1,000. First place, take home $700. Uh, second place, 300 So... Pretty decent prize pool. Of course, uh, online qualifiers as well starts next weekend. Really excited for that. For now, though, we're going to have a quick commercial break. When we return, more Halo 5 Guardian action. Be right back.